In the 3D space, we see the, uh, the X, the Y, and the Z coordinates. So when we insert a primitive, like this cube, it is positioned at these locations. You can change the location, either here or using the selection, the movement selection, and then use maybe the plus sign to move it in the X direction, and maybe the other directions as well. Objects have a property like the material, which is the outside coloring of the object. You select it here in your property dialog, or you directly use it from the ribbon itself and change a multicolor, maybe all those objects that you see here. It can be color coded using a solid color, but also a bitmap or a JPEG uh, image uh, file can be used. When we look at these objects, we can also position it from the top and look at the top view and then look at this cone here and we may want to push it into the direction on top of this cylinder. So if we go back to the perspective view, we now see it's right positioned on top of this. Also the cone has properties like the radius number one and radius number two. And if we set it to 2.5, 0.25, you notice that the top is off the cone. We can also take the cap off, double click, and maybe the bottom of the object. Similarly for the cylinder, you may want to remove the top cap and maybe the bottom we keep. And we can also change the number of the degrees, 360 degrees. If we change this for instance to 270, then notice that you take a slice out of this particular object here itself. Now, if we want to color code the inside of the object, it may be convenient to multi-select the object and then take the back material and use the dialog here. Select the diffuse color and maybe make it green as the inside. You will not see the inside right now because we are not looking at a particular inside. We can actually select here in selection mode the top of the object and hit the delete key to remove the top part and maybe even some other part of this object. So now you see inside that this object really is color coded. Again, to pan around the model, you hold down the Alt key and press the wheel mouse button, the middle mouse button, and you drag it around the space. And to orbit around, Alt key and the left mouse key, you orbit around the object like this. You should notice that when we change this primitive, we remove parts of the primitive, it no longer is a primitive, it changed into a, a geometry. And that's typically the shape that you also will get when you import external 3D models from external 3D drawing packages. And then you can still apply any of the dynamics as required. A final note is we want to insert a pipe object, and here we go to the pipe object. The pipe object has this function that you can double click the pipe and then position uh, the coordinates of your pipe the way it needs to be following the flow of product. And then also this object has again the properties like the cap on the start and the stop. We can remove it and we can maybe color code it into something gray, like what the pipe should be. Final thing is we add this plane. And instead of resizing it using these menus, we can also go into the translation here. Um, let's do it right here and put in, for instance, the scale. Don't make it 100%, but make it 10 times bigger and do it in the X and the Z coordinates. And then you can apply some material that is appropriate for the floor, maybe some green color coding or some bitmap that would be applied to this model.